Hey my name's Mel, welcome to my world. Now if you're new to my channel, it's all about me turning standard vans like this into camper vans. Off-grid camper vans. This is my little helper. <laughs> now yesterday's video, I cut a little bit short because the heavens opened up and it was it was literally like someone throwing buckets of water at me. <laughs> I got absolutely drenched. So the video was cut short and it didn't give me time to explain one vital bit of information. A lot of people yesterday commented and they said, how much did your van cost? What did you pay for it? Where did you get it? Well, the truth of the matter is, it's not actually my van. I'm converting this this van into a camper for somebody else, all thanks to YouTube. Now, one of my viewers, they approached me, they said they've got a van, they've got everything they need to put in the van, but due to personal circumstances, they didn't have time to finish it off. So would I step in and help them out? So that's why I'm now converting this van and it's for somebody else, it's not actually for me. It's now got that cleared up. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna to be doing the insulating the floor. With some help from my little feline friend again. <laughs> Just inspecting, making sure that I've filled all the holes in. And I'll show you what I've done. As you can see, as I said yesterday, I've um, filled the holes with mastic. This is just about dry now. It's literally just stopped raining, so I've got to be quick. And for insulation, I'm going to be using this 25 millimeter polystyrene. It's only 25 mil thick, which is plenty. I'm also going to be putting battens down just to give it a little bit of support, stop it getting squished underfoot. So right, I'm going to crack on. Hopefully that clears something up as well some of you were under the impression that I'd actually bought this van <laughs> but no sorry um, yeah I apologize for the confusion there we go that's what the floor looks like so this is all polystyrene now now on top of that polystyrene I'm gonna put the original plywood flooring now it's a little bit rough and a little bit tatty but that don't really matter because all that's got to do is just spread the weight over the polystyrene so once the original flooring's back on then I'm going to put a really thin membrane of underlay then on top of that my laminate flooring now the, the floor of the van itself has actually got ribs in it but over time that polystyrene will crush and settle down um, I'm going to be jumping in and out in and out of this van doing all the sides the insulation the um, vapor barrier <laughs> <laughs> and then the cladding as well and I've got to do the ceiling the lights the electrics all that good stuff and by the time I finished doing all that that floor would have been well and truly settled down and it will the uh, polystyrene will will mold itself to the ribs of the floor now for those of you that doubt that it will do that it does do it because I've done this before and I've taken the flooring up after doing it and you can clearly see that polystyrene does um, lay flat with the floor eventually I mean, I'm 14 stone nearly, and by the time I've jumped in and out, in and out of there a few times, it will settle down. But the edging, to protect the edges, I've got these battens, and these are 25mm thick, the same as the polystyrene, so that'll prevent it from uh, rolling the edges down. There you go. Right, I'm going to crack on because it is looking rather grim again, and yeah, time's cracking on. So I'll quickly show you what it looks like now before I put the laminate floor on. Now this is the stuff, it's like an underlay. Now it's not porous, it looks porous but it isn't. It makes a great vapour barrier and that's exactly what this is going to do. It's going to be like a floor vapour barrier. Now there is a seam down the middle but I will seal that seam with some vapour barrier tape as and when I get that far. I'm going to start from that side, start laying the laminate across and when I get to there where the seam is, where the two pieces of this join together, I will put a nice strip of, um, yeah, it's meant for vapour barrier, it's like a silver foil tape, and it's really sticky, I mean it's super sticky, um, I'll run a, a length of that straight down there, but I won't do it just yet, because I'll be on my knees, and my feet might catch it and rip it, so we don't want that to happen, there you go, just a quick look, um, and I've left all the edges high as well by the way, all these are left high, all around the edges you'll see it's got a nice high ridge and once the laminate's on I'll trim that to suit I'll trim it down but I won't trim it right down I'll leave it sticking proud so when I do the vapor barrier on the sides of the van I can join it all together that way it's completely sealed all the way around literally from floor to ceiling it'll be sealed with a vapor barrier right I want to crack on now 
the weather don't look too bad now. I've been rushing because I want to try and beat the rain. <laughs> but um, it looks like we've got some blue sky, so I might be all right. But anyway, I really want to get it done, so I'm going to cut this short. <laughs> I've rabbited on enough. Oh, look at that. I've got two helpers now. <laughs> Well, it's about it's about midday now um, the second day this is day two of laying the floor it did actually start raining again yesterday the weather really isn't on my side at the moment but luckily I've managed to get it done I've finished it off this morning I've got my little aluminium strip along the leading edge and all around the edges you can see the membrane poking up and that's for the vapor barrier is going to be joined to that so it's all good and uh, Unfortunately, this aluminium strip, even though it was really long, it's not quite long enough to do the door as well. So I've got to go back to Wix's and get another strip of that. And while I'm there, I'll get some nice screws for it as well. Um, I just want to give you a quick update in case it started raining again. At least that way I can upload this video tonight. <laughs> well, I'm going to crack on and see how much I can get done today. Well, I've managed to get the Wix's, despite the sudden gal that suddenly appeared from nowhere. Torrential rain, torrential wind. <laughs> unbelievable I don't think I'll be getting much more done today but the good news is I did get a bit of trim that I needed and I got the, uh, some stainless steel screws that I wanted as well um, now to answer some questions from yesterday quite a few people said to me oh no have you sold your van how much did you sell it for well I haven't sold my van as you can see I'm still sitting in it right now <laughs> so and it's not for sale um, yeah I just wanted to clear that up take this opportunity to clear that up and um right so i'm going to get going because i'll need to uh yeah i need some lunch hopefully by the time i get back <laughs> so someone just running across the car park holding on to his hat <laughs> yeah so i'm going to go and get some lunch hopefully this weather might have sorted itself out by then and i can crack on and get my floor finished so that's the rear step done as you can see it looks really nice well worth the effort going to get these stainless steel screws they really do look nice they uh, really do finish it off lovely i think um i've got just about every type of screw possibly imaginable in stock except those <laughs> but like i say worth the effort worth going to get them makes it look oh hello come to inspect <laughs> she's come to have a little look make sure i've done a good job what do you think does it look good yeah right i'll get on got to do the other step yet well despite the weather i finally got it finished there you go it's lovely i'm really pleased it does look really nice especially that edging strip on there and i've staggered the boards just like you would do it in any house like in the kitchen or your dining room or your lounge so the laminate floor is laid pretty much the same way now i haven't filmed myself laying the floor because just takes up too much time and besides there's hundreds of videos on YouTube that show you how to lay laminate flooring so it seemed pretty pointless really going all that effort to show you how to lay the laminate flooring when there are plenty out there plenty of videos on YouTube now you may have spotted my little step there that thing is absolutely a, a real godsend especially stepping in and out in and out of van all the time does my knees right in it does so I've got that little stall and it doesn't make a difference so much easier to get in and out of the van now talking about steps one thing i've noticed different about this van is there is no step it's just a flat floor which makes it really easy <laughs> really easy to lay the floor because there's no step to worry about like normally you'd have a cut out here and i think because this van is actually front wheel drive unlike my van which is rear wheel drive and it also i think the floor is actually lower as well because i've got a step here and in my van i haven't got that step now I'm six foot tall and I've just put 25 mil um, insulation on the floor and if we look I've still got plenty of headroom yeah, and I'm six foot so if you're a tall chap like me and you're thinking about buying a van maybe consider one of these a front wheel drive transit they do seem to have a lot more headroom although this one is a medium wheelbase so you do lose a bit of length um, now while I'm in here in here <laughs> I'll talk about the layout we're going to have an l-shaped sofa going along the back and down the side here and it's going to have a slide out bed it's going to have a slide out compartment i should say which is going to turn it into a bed and the cooking 
area is going to be across the back seats right across sink cooker and all that good stuff cupboards they're all going to be across there there's going to be a slider divider just like i do with all my other vans and in the doorway so i'm spinning you around make you dizzy there's going to be a little cupboard here um, with a little flap that's going to form part of a table so it should look quite nice all in all yeah, if i put the phone there you can see better so yeah l-shaped sofa going across there like this which is going to slide out into a bed and a, a cupboard there going across so it should be quite nice all right well i'm going to go if you like this video do give me a thumbs up don't forget to share like subscribe and all that good stuff but most importantly do feel free to leave a comment below and talk among yourselves <laughs> and i do try and answer all my comments um it's not rude not to i mean at the end of the day you go to all that effort to leave a comment it'd be rude of me if i didn't answer yeah, does that make sense of course it does <laughs> thanks for watching see you on the next video hopefully coming soon within the next couple of days ta for now